Welcome to setting up WordPress part 2. This video tutorial is going to uh, take off from where we left in video 1 and we are going to do some basic setup of our WordPress. Now what we finished with was I had copied and pasted my credentials here and I'm just going to move that out of the site. I've gone ahead and from Mojo Marketplace I've clicked on um, my area to go and see my sample site which is what brought me to here and my other tab that's open is cPanel I do not need cPanel open anymore I'm going to go ahead and click on log out of that so I don't need that um, I can go back to this tab Mojo Marketplace and click on the admin area for my website now notice that in the admin area that is going to be the very same as the actual website up here but I have added a little snippet called wp-admin in this particular case I know from my setup that my username is my full Ramapo account so I'm going to have to erase the defaults here and put that in oops and I'm going to go ahead and put in my password that has been given to me and I'm going to click on login now one of the very first things you should do of course is go change that password so once we get up and running I'm going to go ahead and do that let me give you a quick orientation to WordPress the things that um, I'm going to say never say that password simply because I'm going to change it there are a couple things that come in automatically and depending on the install coming down from WordPress you might see some slightly different screens don't let that throw you in this particular case um, Bluehost has offered me a sidekick dashboard I don't particularly like it but you might keep it it is the thing that drives this little orange button down here that says click for help I'm going to click on no thanks I do not want it to be engaged but that's my personal preference you can always turn it on later no big deal and it's going to um, take me into some general settings but before I even get there I'm gonna go back to the dashboard the dashboard is your home base for all things in WordPress there are going to be three or four major areas within WordPress that you're going to use quite frequently but this is just a beginning so let's go ahead and take care of a couple of these things the first thing I want to do is once again is I want to go to my users and I'm going to click on all users once I'm there I can see the uh, new user that I've got set up in here and the first thing I'm going to do is click on edit and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down it is good to go ahead and put in your name that way posts and pages and authorship get attributed to this account you can leave your um, nickname is as the Ramapo account you can leave your display name as the Ramapo account but one of the first things I of course do is I will go and create a new password now I'm going to pause the video while I do this now I've gone ahead and added my own password here and while I did that you didn't see it on the screen but I did have to click on a little tick button that says confirm use of weak password and that's up to you I always recommend of course that you do not use a password that's easily hackable I always recommend that you use a, a password that is not tied to any of your important accounts um, in this world such as banking and email so use a different password and um, make sure it is a password that you can remember and make sure that it is a password that is relatively unhackable the other thing I'm going to do while I'm here under users is I always like to give myself a second account just in case I manage to forget the first one so I've gone back here to users and I'm going to click on add new and I'm going to go ahead and create a new user here and I'm going to put in my personal email address as my password here and I'm just going to go ahead and complete that and once again I'm going to create a different password here and I'm going to um, be right back 
Now, this is showing an example of where I've had to click on the confirm use of weak password because I do want to show you one more tidbit here and that is this second account I do want it to be an administrative level account so I need to make sure that it's designated as administrator. The send the new user uh, an email about their account you can do that in my case I'm not going to because I would effectively just be sending it to myself and I already know that I have a new account but I'm going to go ahead and click on add new user. So now I have two administrative accounts here. The usernames are uh, unique and the password is unique and I'm hopeful that uh, I will not be bothered too much by hacking. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take care of some very quick security efforts here. And there's all sorts of things that you can do, but these are the minimum. I'm going to first of all go over to settings. And the first thing I'm going to do under settings, I'm under the general tab here and there's a couple of things I also need to take care of. For example, my site title. Let me actually just show that to you super quick in one of these tabs. Notice up here that this site title is the default and that's obviously not what I want it to finally be. I'm going to type in sample site. You would type in the name of your course or something that describes the website. You should override this tagline and put in something descriptive. For an example, I'm going to type in MSET Ramapo College. Um, this web address URL, I'm not going to touch because that was part of the install. If I touch it, I kind of mess up my entire site, so I obviously don't want to do that. Under my email address, I do want to put this in here because if I have to have the system automatically email me, this is the, path, the email that it will send it to. So I'm going to put this in as my Ramapo email. This is important to go ahead and do that. I do not want to click on anyone can register. Um, you can take the time to go ahead and find the right uh, time zone. What I usually do is scroll all the way to the top. Um, Africa is the first continent, but then America is the next. And so once I get into the Americas, I just scroll down. And in my particular case, I look for New York. There it is. And I um, usually leave the defaults, but you can certainly play with date and time format, etc. I also usually typically leave the automatic update manager on. I'm going to go ahead and click on Save Changes. So that's the first thing I do under Settings. The second thing I do under settings is I go over to um, the discussion tab and there are a couple of things that you can do to strengthen or harden your website and these are things that you should do as a minimum. Until you know um, a little bit more about security, these are things that you should do. Under, again, settings, under discussion, I'm under the default article settings. I'm going to uncheck the first three. I do not want people to post comments. I don't want links. I don't want any notifications. Under the second area, I'm going to click on uh, other comment settings. I'm going to make sure it is checked that comment author must fill out a name and email. It seems a little bit contradictory because in the first section I said I unchecked it. I do not want people to post comments, but for some reason if that um, fails, I do want them to fill out an author uh, information and email. I also want to indicate that users must be registered and logged in, and again, I'm not going to add any users, so I'm kind of setting up a whole bunch of contradictions just to make sure uh, that I've uh, enabled as much as I can in terms of security. And then the next portions I'm going to check and make sure that it is checked that I get an email whenever anybody posts a comment or a comment is held for moderation. Last, where it says before a comment appears, I'm going to check off that comment must be manually approved. Again, this is not a perfect security setting, but I do try to basically set up contradictions so that if somebody does get past um, some of the basics, then at least I've got a few more safeguards in place. I'm going to go ahead and click on Save Changes, and that is the heart and soul of the very first setup of your security. Next, I'm going to take care of a couple more things. I'm going to go under Posts, and WordPress installs a default Hello World post. Let me pop back up here, and that is what is driving this particular little post here. As you learn more about Pro uh, WordPress, you're going to learn more about the difference between posts and pages. For our purposes, 
Currently, however, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that. I'm going to hover on it and click on trash. And then I tend to also like to keep my spaces organized. So I'm going to go into trash right away and I am going to um, click on empty trash. I like to get rid of that hello world piece because it does have a comment section on it and I've deliberately chosen not to have any comments. And for most of the instruction in the MSCT program, you are going to be using pages, not posts. Again, as you learn more about WordPress, you'll learn the differences. For now, I'm going to go under pages. And the very first thing I'm going to do here is, again, I'm going to get rid of this sample page because I don't need it. Now, once again, I could go ahead and uh, empty my trash. I'm not going to uh, bore you with that right now, but I do need to add a home page as a minimum. So across the top here, I can click on pages and add new from the left sidebar, or I can go across the top and click on add new. And I'm going to quickly add a new page and I'm going to call this home. Now, typically you would want your users to have some sort of home page that gives them a sense of knowing how to navigate your site. And just as placeholder text, I'm going to type in home page. Nothing fancy, nothing exciting. You will get more um, tutorials later on on how to use the toolbars and how to do different things. But for the moment, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up by clicking on publish. And that's all there is to creating a page um, at its minimum here. The next thing I want to do is over here, my site is still set to this post page. I want to tell WordPress to use this particular home page as my starting point. In order to do that, I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to go to general. And from here, I'm going to actually go down to uh, reading. There are multiple ways to get to these options. You could also go through your appearance and customizer, but I'm going to reading and the very first option here where it says front page displays, I do not want the static, the post. I do want a static page. As Soon as I select that, I've got the option to uh, choose home. If I click on save changes, then that is taken care of. Now I'm going to come back here to my preview and uh, actually, let me show you how to get to a preview because I have not done that. I apologize. Let me close all these other little tabs. Here I'm back in my editor and I've just made a change to um, make my WordPress go to a home page. And in order to preview it, I can hover in the upper left where it says sample site and I can click on visit site. Once that goes ahead and loads up, now I've got my WordPress set up. So those are the minimum things. I can go back to my dashboard, but these are the minimum things you need to do to set up your WordPress for the very first time. I'm going to come back with a couple of other uh, tutorials here in a moment, so talk to you soon.